Hello YouTube. So today we're going to take a look at some tokens. Now, I don't collect tokens. I don't know anything about tokens. I've come across a few tokens that I've been given or got with some coins, um, just various different places. I know there's a massive community of people who collect tokens, uh, so they'll probably have a lot more knowledge on these than me. But I've just got some very basic information that I found and I just thought we'd have a look over these. It'd make it quite an interesting video and just look at these a little bit closer. Okay, so let's start here Ooh, at the top left. So this here, this token says RH and Sons London Trademark here on the obverse and flat edge and on the reverse it says four and a half D and it says no at the bottom number. So <clears throat> I don't really know much about this. RH Hovenden is the company. I don't know why they issued these tokens. I tried to do a, a bit of a Google search on these to see if I could find out anything more. I believe this is brass and I think in the olden days, some companies uh, issued their employees with tokens as part of their wages. So for the company, the advantage of that was they didn't have to have as much cash because obviously there was no electronic money in those days. And the employee then had to spend some of their uh, wages at least in the, with the actual company they worked for, which I don't know if you'd get away with that these days. In fact, I know you definitely wouldn't because um, in reality, you're really underpaying your staff in that case. And I mean, if you work for something like a butcher's, then fine, you can buy food for your family. But if you worked in, uh, I don't know, a rug shop or a carpet makers or something, then you probably wouldn't want to be getting paid in tokens. So that's all I know about this one. If you uh, know anything else about that, please do add it uh, down below. Okay, this one here, we have a Ted Baker uh, token. Ted Baker, London, established 1988 repeats it round there a picture of a guy uh, scratching his head or pointing upwards this is you can tell by this this isn't an old coin it's been uh, manufactured in the last I don't know within the last 10 years and it's meant to be meant to look old and if we look at this side on the reverse it's got east west Ted is best same again at the bottom uh, Ted Baker TB in the middle and on the compass instead of North, South, East, West, T-E-D-S. So this uh, token, I don't know if you call this a token, I got when I purchased a wallet, I bought a Ted Baker wallet, and uh, I think if you buy a Ted Baker wallet, I'm not sure if it's just certain ones, uh, this comes inside it. I think there's a tradition of, if you give somebody a wallet or a purse as a present, you're supposed to put some money in it, and I think that's the kind of idea behind it. Although uh, with the the controversy, the controver the con sorry, the controversy with uh, one of the owners or directors recently and the share price, I think, has fallen about 25%. It might even come a time where these, these tokens are worth more than the actual money in their shops. Who knows? Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Now, I don't know anything about this, and there's not much detail on it. So this is obviously a, a copper coin. Uh, somebody's used it as jewellery or to hang up somewhere as there's a hole drilled in it. I would say since there's not a lot of damage it may just have had a nail through it and it was put up somewhere. I'm not sure. So if we look at this side, I'm not sure if this is a verse or reverse. I don't think it really matters with this uh, token. There is a picture of there you can see uh, Tower Bridge in London. And on the other side there's a picture of St Paul's Cathedral. There's no writing, uh, it's in the style of a kind of a two pens piece, uh, flat edge with the, the, the dots around the side there. Now I don't know anything about this at all, I've tried to have a look on the internet and I can't find anything. Um, I'm quite familiar with both these land work marks as I work in the city so I'm kind of in between both of them and uh, if the weather's nice sometimes I'll take a walk down to, to Tower Bridge and I quite often walk past St Paul's if I'm going to get the train home without getting the tube. So that's all I know on that, which is not a lot. Okay, this next one here is a uh, quite an interesting, I don't, I've, I think this is a token, but I'm not really sure if it's a token or coin. The reason I think this is a token is, um, if we look at this side, it's well worn. 
I don't know what that is. That looks like some kind of Masonic uh, symbol. It's not the, the one that everybody knows. It's got the, I think that was, is that a compass at the top? What they used to use in the very old days to plot, plot uh, uh, sailing uh, journeys. It seems to have a book in the middle and something at the bottom. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe some kind of science, science thing. And it looks like this kind of sun rays at the top. So this side made me think this was a token. It's got a, a reader edge, you can see there. But on this side, sorry, that's upside down. It says here, 1973-1393. 50 in the middle, some uh, writing at the bottom there. And round it outside, it's got some more writing. Now, obviously, it's not in uh, English, and it's not using an alphabet, that I understand. So I can't tell about this. Seeing this side only would make me think this is a coin. Um, having a look at this side makes me think it's a token, but I'm not sure. Um, I would be very interested to find out some more information on this one if anybody knows. Uh, that would be good. Okay, onto the bottom row. So here on the bottom left, we have a token, uh, Canary Wharf, uh, same on both sides. So um, I don't really know too much about this. I had a look on the internet. If you don't know, Canary Wharf is part of the financial district in the UK. There's the city and there's Canary Wharf, which is out slightly along the river to the east. Uh, Canary Wharf has got uh, many of the tallest buildings in London and I believe possibly Europe. I did work there a very long time ago, early on in my career, when I worked for a, an investment bank. I did, I did a little stint over there. But uh, yeah, so anyway, this is a parking token and I believe that you used to be able to use these to park in Canary Wharf. Now, this must have been a very long time ago, probably 80s or very early 90s, possibly even 70s because there's no way anyone drives to Canary Wharf. Um, if you don't know London, uh, it would just take you even to, to do three or four miles to get there if you're going through, through the tunnel or whatever it just just wouldn't be worth it there's also congestion charge uh oh, there's i don't even know if there's a car parking uh, car park there anymore i guess there probably is because uh, there'd be a lot of chauffeurs etc need somewhere to to keep the executives cars but yeah i don't know anyway so this is a parking token for canary wharf i'm estimating that this is probably late 80s but not really sure Right, this next one here, I don't have a clue what this one is either. I've got a couple of these. I'm not even sure where I've got hold of this. So on this side, it has a lion with a crown, or is that some kind of priest hat holding, like, uh, I don't know what that's called. I think when they used to have battles in the old days, they used to stake those in the ground. Uh, at the bottom, it's certainly not English writing. I don't know what that is. It's not even something that I recognise. So if we flip it over, so this is like kind of like a one pence piece equivalent of the UK. And on the back here, it's got a picture of someone. Again, not sure who that is at all or what it says. The reason I think this is a token, there's no denomination. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any date on it. And there's not really much more I can tell you about that. If you do know anything, please, please do drop a comment down below. Okay, this next one. This is definitely copper. You can tell it's gone uh, slightly green. I'm not sure if that's oxidization or if it's because they get wet. I'm not really sure, but uh, a very famous example of that's the Statue of Liberty, which is uh, completely green. So anyway, this is another coin. It's, oh, sorry, this is another token, exactly the same on both sides. And it says Ace on the bottom. Now, Ace Cafe is a cafe uh, in London. It's famous with bikers. They have a lot of car shows there. And it's a very famous meet-up place for for those those sort of things. Now, I don't really know what this token was used for. I had a look uh, on the internet, and it said that it may have been these may have been created for some slot machines in there in the 1960s. But again, I don't know. I mean, what slot machine? This is this is the same as a, a UK one pen, so I guess that's what they would have used it for. But um, as I wasn't around at the 60s, I don't know if you could have used one p for anything. Maybe it was a jukebox. Again, I don't know. I would be more I'm quite interested to find out some more on that. Looking in the looking on the internet, it looks like they're quite uh, popular with bikers that use them uh, for drill hosing them and use them for, on their key rings, etc. But I don't really know. 
Okay, so on to the last token we have here. This one is a lot thicker. This is double the thickness of the last couple we've looked at, uh, uh, but it's also smaller. This is KWM Mun's Prefer. So this is obviously German, exactly the same on both sides. And I couldn't really find out much about this on the internet either. So this is a German token and it's possibly a parking token. I don't know any age. I don't know who uh, KMW Mun's Prefer was. It's just a token that I have in the collection. So guys, that's what I have uh, as far as tokens go. As I said before, I don't intentionally buy tokens or seek them out. These are just things that I've come across. And um, if you like tokens, if you've got any tokens, if you have any more details on any of these, please do add it down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I would appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up, if you found any of this information uh, helpful. Thanks very much, and until next time, speak to you later. Bye.